If you would like to learn how you can localize your software localization projects, this video is for you. So we are going to take this very simple website with multiple pages, a few different components, and we are going to localize it, right? We are going to use quite typical software localization workflow. So obviously we start with development. We are going to use internationalization library. In our case, it's a Lingui uh, JavaScript framework. Uh, we are going to use uh, GitHub as our version control tool. And we are going to use Crowdin as our uh, translation tool. And obviously once um, it's translated, we are going to put all translation fi files back into GitHub. And from GitHub, we are going to deploy uh, this uh, into our application. If you are using Crowdin, you can actually replace GitHub with other tools. So we have Bitbucket, you have GitLab and obviously uh, GitHub. Before we go into demo, a uh, few notes about Lingui. Lingui is a JavaScript internationalization framework. It has a CLI that scans your code and then extracts all your strings into a PO format or JSON format or CSV format. You can translate those and once you do, you can compile that into your code and deploy all your languages. What's cool about Lingui is that not only you can extract messages, using their standard extraction macros, but also you can extract custom IDs and comments. Comments are very useful during translation process with the quality, but also it reduces the amount of questions that you're going to receive from your translators, right? So it's very important that your developers will add those comments into the code and you obviously provide those comments to uh, your translation vendors. So let's assume our development is ready. So with Lingui, we can run a quick macro to export all of that. And as you can see, we generated all of these strings inside a PO. As you can see, we do have comments from developers, we do have IDs, and we do have strings for translation. What's cool about Lingui is that it also provides you with origin of each string, which is actually very helpful. Once you have 10,000 strings inside your code base, it's actually very hard to uh, find some of these strings, but this gives you exact location where the, each string is. So I already checked this in into my GitHub repo. As you can see, it's already here. I already prepared this project in uh, Crowded uh, for German and for Polish. There's one more thing we have to do. We have to connect GitHub into our uh, Crowded project. It's very simple. First, we have to install GitHub and we have to set up our integration. Obviously we have to authorize. Once you do, we select our GitHub repo and we select branch where we would like to store translations. We also need service branch that Crowdin is going to use to push all the translated strings. Also, we have to make sure that we specify exact location of source strings and also where would you like to store all the translated strings. Very simple, once you do, we save all of this and our connector is basically good to go, right? As you, as you can see, because we just finished a configuration, it started syncing our GitHub repo with Crowdin. Basically, it's going to pull all the files for translation. And in a couple of seconds, we should have this uh, ready for translation inside Crowdin. Okay, our integration is ready. So let me have a look at our dashboard. Yeah, it's ready. So now what I can do, I can open Polish because that was already translated by me and I can pre-translate this from the TM. So let me do that. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so as you can see, I refreshed the page and Polish is fully translated. So let's assume all the strings were reviewed by uh, professional translators. And now we can force uh, sync with GitHub repo. And in a minute, we should have all of these translations back in our GitHub. And once they are there, we can download them locally to push them to our application for testing. So let's check how it looks like in uh, GitHub. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Crowdin created a new pull request for us so we can review translations. So let me check the file first. As you can see, translations are there. So now we can actually merge this with our main and we can de delete this branch. Okay, so we updated Polish. So now we can go to our GitHub and pull all translations to our local folder. Yep, as you can see, all the translations are on my local drive and I can actually see them. Okay, so now let's compile our website. That's done, so let's check our website. So let's change to Polish. So as you can see, it's translated. We do have some issues, right? Maybe some of these translations are not ideal. We might have to change them, but it's localized and our process actually worked and we can see all the translations there. So yeah, so that's full software localization pipeline. We started with English only website. We translated it into 
Polish, but as you can imagine, we could do this for 100 languages and the process would still be the same. We use Lingui to do internationalization and export all the strings for us. All of that was stored in GitHub and integrated with, uh, with Crowdy. So yeah, if this, this was useful and you would like to see more examples like this or you have any questions, just let me know.